So in this last video of the series, I wanted to briefly discuss how you can take the concepts that we covered throughout the course and apply them to your mixing projects to help you to continue to improve your craft. So while I broke down everything and the mixing techniques and where they can kind of be applied in the various different points inside your mix down, so starting a mix while you're in the middle of a mix and then finalizing a mix, I'd recommend also incorporating these ideas throughout your mixing process and try some of them at different stages. So for example, maybe try mixing in mono at the end as well, just to double check everything to make sure that you got a nice balance and to make sure that all the frequencies are nice and level. Mixing is a skill that takes time to develop, but what I covered in these videos can help you identify problem areas that you need to work on in your current mix downs, and then use those things that you've learned in future mixes so that you continue to improve your craft. So for example, I used to use way too much reverb in my mixes, and that was something that I knew that I needed to work on. And then whenever I started mixing in mono, checking my final mixes in mono gave me some analysis techniques that helped me better balance my reverb levels, which led to cleaner mixes overall. So mix as often as you can, and come up with goals for your mixes and things you want to get better at. Then use these techniques that I covered throughout the course to build up those skills and to improve your mixes. So thank you so much for checking out this course. I hope you enjoyed this series. And make sure to check out the other courses on Groove3's website. There's lots of other mixing courses and music production courses that you can use to continue developing your skills. So thanks for checking out these videos, and I'll see you in another course soon.